Good evening, and uh, I want to read a verse uh, from Psalm 99, and uh, at verse 6, and uh, I shared uh, about, in our last session, about what name do you call upon, and uh, you know, sadly, most people don't know what name that the scripture instructs us to call upon. In fact, there's only one name that's mentioned throughout the whole scriptures, through the Tanakh, in the uh, New Testament or the Brit Hadashah, there's only one name that's mentioned that we're to call upon if you are reading from the original scriptures. But see, that's the problem. We have a translation. Of the, the scriptures that most people have are translations of the original text. And the problem is that, you know, that we trust our translations to be accurate. And uh, it's only through... Uh, through these latter years that men have been able to really do research and to find you know the, that the name of our creator you know has been edited out of the original scriptures and, and substituted with a different word or a different name and actually the word Lord is not a name it's a title it's not even a name but most people refer to the creator or to the Mashiach or the Messiah as Lord. And there's a reason they do. It's because they see that word Lord approximately 7,000 times in their scriptures where the name of our Creator should be there present if they could if if they knew that you know that they were reading from the original text. And uh, so, you know, and some people, you know, just will think that that's not that important, you know, that his name isn't important. You know, if you do the study, and uh, of course I can't do a short, I can bring all the information out in this short, short little segment here, but you'll find out that Yahuwah is very, uh, uh, has, thinks very highly of his name. He thinks his name, and not only thinks, but his name is set apart. It's unique. It's, it's a, it's, the, the scripture declares that it's uh, an awesome name. Uh, it's a name that we're to revere, we're to show reverence to, we're to actually love his name, and as I said before, we, to, we are to proclaim his name. Now, we can't proclaim his name if you're, if you're using the, the, the word Lord instead of his name, or if you're using Hashem, which is in Hebrew means the name, or you can't proclaim his name if you're using Adonai. You know, all those words are substitute words, and they have nothing to do with his name. Now, you may be doing it because, you know, you thought you were being uh, honoring Yahuwah by not uh, speaking his name. But I'm, I'm here to tell you that that's not accurate. If you read the scriptures, you'll find that quite the opposite. And that we are to make his name known. We're to proclaim his name. We're to call upon his name. And as I said, we're to love his name. Well, how can you love a name if you don't even know it? Or if you do know it, um, you know, you, you've, been, you've been fed the lie or the deception that nobody knows how to pronounce his name. See, all these things have been done by the enemy to suppress and to hide revelation and understanding among masses of people. Uh, and it's time, it's, we are now living in the days where as Yahuwah declared that he would make his name known. And even the Messiah, the Mashiach, if you read in John chapter 17 or the Yahu Kanan chapter 17, you'll find that the Mashiach, the Messiah, said in, in two different times in, this, in that same chapter, in chapter 17, that he had made known the Father's name unto his brethren. Twice he mentions that in, in that chapter that he had proclaimed or he had made known the name of the Father to his brethren. Now, why would he have to do that? It's because that the name had been hidden through tradition and uh, men did not know uh, or the, the common people did not know, you know about the name. They, they didn't know how to call upon the name because the name had been hidden. And, we're, and that's been perpetuated down through the centuries. And... Uh, but now we're living in a day where Yahuwah is bringing forth the understanding and revelation of what his name is and how to pronounce his name. Now, 
I was gonna I'm gonna read and then we'll pick back up on our next session. But in Psalm 99, it says in verse six, it says Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among them that call upon his name. Now his name, and this will tell you whose name they're, ta they're talking about. They called upon Yahuwah, and he answered them. Now, again, if you're lead, reading from an English translation, your English translation is going to say they called upon the Lord. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm thinking about how, how this is, is so... It's been so, it just it's just something that's hard to believe that this could happen. That the name of the Creator would be substituted with with a title, uh, and because of man's tradition, that they you know thinking that they were being say quote religious by not speaking His name, or if they were concerned that they would blaspheme His name if they mispronounced it. Now, even that doesn't that doesn't sh that shows that you you do not know the character and the mercy of Yahuwah. He's not that. So, I mean, if you were to mispronounce his name, do you th really think that he would, you know, uh, you know, hold that against you? Now, he expects you to know how to pronounce his name. If you if you do the research and the study, you'll find that it's very easy to learn how to pronounce his name. And the problem is there's so much misinformation out there that most people, you know, trying to, to, to trying to, in their being sincere, trying to find out, you know, not only what his name is, but how to pronounce his name. And there's so much misinformation out there. They've got to, you know, weed through all that. But if you'll stay fast, steadfast to it, and he'll reveal that his name is Yahuwah, and you'll know that that's how his name is pronounced. And it's important for us to tell others about his name because that's the name that we are to call upon. Now, I'm finishing up with this verse here. It says that Moses, Aaron, and the, 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 the priest with Aaron and Samuel, they all called upon the name of Yahuwah. Abraham called upon the name of Yahuwah. You know, all through the Tanakh, this is the name that they called upon for salvation, for deliverance, for help. And this is the same name that we are instructed to call upon even in the New Testament, in the Brit Hadashah. It's not the name Jesus that, that's been substituted. It's the English, that's the English word for the Mashiach or name that's been made up because of the translations uh, uh, through the centuries being inaccurate because his name is Yahusha, is the name of the Mashiach. He had a Hebrew name. He has a Hebrew name. He came in his father's name. You know, he came bearing his father's name. And that's why, in, and I've done a number of teachings about how, to, how we know that it is Yahusha and not other, these other variations like Yeshua or Yahushua and all these other names that are not accurate. And... Uh, but his name is, the Mashiach is Yahusha. He carries the same first three letters of the Father's name, Yahuwah, is Yahu, and the Sha part of his name is the uh, root word for salvation, and it's the noun form of the verb, the verb of Yasha, which is the Hebrew number 3467, 3468. And um, that's the word for salvation. So, with that said, I just want to encourage you to begin, to, if, if you're not using his name, begin to call upon his name. Don't use these substitute titles uh, that, that clearly are a violation of the scriptures. Because what you're really doing is you're taking his name in vain. And what I mean by that is that you're, you're making it desolate. You're treating it as if it has not, ha, ha, that it's, it's not, doesn't have meaning, it's not significant. You're, you're, you're treating it like it doesn't matter what you call him. And I'm telling you, it does. So, with that said, uh, have a good night. Please share this with others. And uh, Baruch Haba Bashem Yahuwah, blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahuwah. Shalom.